The last time I did a video like this, I only had the benefit of speaking to you on camera, then having screenshots to illustrate what I was saying. However, now with the fact that I have screen capturing software, it's going to be easier for me to show you step by step how to register your song with Samro using their online portal. Q theme music. Hey, this is the English man of EB English Music and welcome to another Studio Talk vlog. I know it's been a while since my last Studio Talk vlog and this is the first one of 2019. So, Happy New Year if this is the first time that we are talking to each other in 2019 and I wish you nothing but the best for this year. So getting straight into it, as I said in the intro, I want to show you step by step how to register your song on Samro via their website. And it's very simple. However, before we start, an important note is that as long as you have become an official member of Samro, then only can you use this facility. If you are new to Samro, you've just maybe registered as a member, you've just maybe sent in a few songs um, to be registered, you're still going to have to do it the old school route where you are going to download the forms from the website, fill it in, and then send it back off to Samro. However, if you have become uh, an official member of Samro, then you will be able to do this online registration of your song. And how that is done is you have to email Samro, their customer service line, and their contact details are at the, right at the bottom of the website, if I'm not mistaken, over there customer services at samro.org.za. I know that there was another email address called 24-7 at samro.org.za, but uh, just to be safe, I will try both customer services at samro.org.za and the other one. And then what you need to request in that email is you need to request your relation number because that is almost going to be like your username when you log on to the member portal login. All right. So when you go to the website samro.org.za, this is what the website is going to look like. They give you uh, so much information that's uh, readily available for you if there is any, any information that you need to know regarding Samro. Um, but also what you'll notice is that in this top right hand corner, you'll find right next to their search function member portal login. And that is what we need to click on to uh, go to the next step to in order to register your song. So we're going to click on that. And it will open a new window. All right, so this is the portable login or the Samro portal that they've made available for you to use, not only to register your songs with Samro, but also uh, you can track uh, songs that you have already registered. And you can also see uh, how much in terms of performance royalties those songs have earned to date since the time that you've registered the song. All right. So as I said, you're going to need your relation number and that is going to be your username that you will use to log in. The password is one of your choice. Um, the relation number, you can't change your username. You have to use your relation number. So it would be best for you to memorize it in order to log into the website. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay. So now I've logged in to the portal, the online portal. So what you need to do is on the right hand side over here with to do, there is a an option for send registration. And that is what you're going to click on. So let's go there. And it will open a new window where it says my music and it will give you some information over there. It will ask you, do you want to view your own registrations, your own registration titles? And that's where you can see which songs of yours have already been registered and what the Samro work numbers are as well. Because I know that now when you submit songs to radio stations, some of them ask for Samro numbers. And by doing an online registration, you get this number for your particular song a whole lot quicker. However, I must just state a radio station requesting uh, the Samro number can sometimes be a little bit um, impractical or maybe a little bit redundant. Reason being is what if you are a new artist or, or songwriter, uh, a new music maker, and you've just registered with Samro. 
and you in the process of registering songs, then you don't have a Samro number available to you. You're going to need to wait a while because it's a catch-22. The only way you can be officially inducted as a member of Samro is if your songs are active. And now radio stations are asking for Samro numbers, so it doesn't make sense. The song has to be active first before you can become uh, inducted officially into uh, into being a Samro member. Um, but if you have been a member for a while, then obviously this process is a lot easier. So uh, you need to go to new notification, which is this one over here. So you click on new notification and it will ask you registration type. Now, there is only one option here, which is CTB. Uh, you click on next. So that's pretty easy. It takes you to option two. So now the, the in this section, they're going to ask you to add a title. Uh, first of all, it is going to be a normal song. So it's not assignment music. It's not a tune or a jingle, and it's not uh, for a commercial. So it's no assignment music. You can leave that as is. Now, the song that I'm registering is one that I've done in collaboration with another artist called Fonzo, and it's called Love is Gone. So I'm going to type that in. Love is gone. And the next thing is the duration. So hours, it's zero hours. It's four minutes and 37 seconds. So it's two digits that they ask for. So if it's obviously less than 10 minutes, then zero, whatever, it could be zero three. If it's three minutes something, in this case, it's four minutes 37. Hence why I said zero four 37. Okay, there's no uh, alternative title uh, that needs to be added. And the performing artist is myself, the Englishman. And it features Fonzo. All right. Okay, they're going to ask that consists of music and text. And the genre, it's popular. Uh, when they say popular or serious, um, they mean like if, if it's a classical kind of work. Music type, it's essentially R&B, but more urban pop. I don't know if uh, which one that's going to fit under. So I am just going to go with uh, R&B, rhythm and blues. Okay. All right. No alternative title. All right. Now we can click on next. All right, now they ask you, do you want to add an instrument? As they say in the brackets, it is optional. So we are not going to add an instrument or the instruments that have been used. It's optional. It's not necessary. So we'll just skip to step four. In step four, this is one of the crucial parts of this new notification. And this is what you're going to have to get correct. If it's your account that you're going to be logging in on Samro, it's online portal, the first uh, songwriter or author or composer that's going to be included in this process is going to be you. So that's why your name shows up uh, automatically and it is going to be the name that is on your ID. That field is already populated as you can see over here. Right now, unless you have a pseudonym, which is a name that you write under that's been officially registered with Samro, uh, then obviously you can use that other name. However, we're just using the name as per our IDs. So the next step is roll codes. Now what that means is they're asking, are you the composer? Are you the author of the lyrics? Are you a composer and an author? Are you an arranger, a publisher, sub arranger, etc., etc.? In this case, I was the composer of the music as well as the author of uh, the bulk of the lyrics. So I'll put composer author there. Now, this next part, they're asking for the performing rights and the mechanical rights. As I've stated in previous videos, when it comes to registering your song with Samro, the performing rights, which is something that Samro handles, and the mechanical rights, which is something that Capasso handles, is you get whatever split percentage split for the royalties you're going to use, you're going to apply that those same principles to the mechanical rights. Okay, so in this case, as I also mentioned in a previous video, and that uh, info will be popping up on the screen right about now, which deals with royalty splits, you have to discuss this aspect of the song or the music making process with whoever uh, your collaborators are on that song. You guys have to agree as to what 
the splits are going to be before you get to this process of registration. Because let's say I feel that I needed to get X amount of percentage and uh, my collaborator needs to get Y percentage and um, I register the song with Samro. Now they register the same song because they also have to do it on their side in order to get paid and they have a difference in the percentages. Samro will not pay any royalties out because if there's a discrepancy with regards to the, the percentages, it becomes a dispute. And Samra will not pay out any royalties until that dispute is resolved. So it's very important that you guys agree um, as to what is going to be the royalty splits. Now, as I explained in that video with regards to royalty splits, it is 50% music, whoever came up with the music, and 50% lyrics. And sometimes it can be a gray area because nowadays people don't just write lyrics, they write melodies to those lyrics, which falls un under the music side. So if we split that 50-50 music and lyrics, in this regard, uh, I wrote the chorus, which accounts for half of the lyrics uh, portion, and then you left with 25%. And there were three verses, two of which I wrote and one of which Fonzo wrote. So in that regard, if you split that 25% that's left after the chorus into three, you get about eight and a third percent. Now, because Fonzo's verse was quite lengthy and it also involved melody, I wanted to give him um, a bit more. So the royalty that we discussed was that he was going to get 15% with regards to the uh, performance royalty. Um, my split was going to be 80. Now, I know what you're saying. That doesn't add up to 100. The 5% was left for um, another collaborator on the song, Munib Khalant, who um, did some additional production, and that's why he was going to get 5%. So I'm going to now put that information uh, and populate all the fields where that is required. So composer, author, 80%. And under the mechanical uh, right, it's also 80%. So I'm confirming that, locking it in. And as you can see, it has locked that in. Okay. Now for the next one is uh, Jody. His real name is Jody. Uh, Alfonso, surname, Bochen Paul. There we go. And uh, my apologies if I'm revealing his real name. Okay. And he was also composer author because his lyrics also had melody to it. And putting down the agreed amount of 15%, confirming that, locking it in. Okay, so now obviously it's giving me space for another one because it realizes there's still obviously a percentage left that needs to be uh, allocated. And that would go to Munib, Halant, and he will just be composing. He had, he had no involvement with regards to the lyrics. All right, so that's 5% performance, 5% mechanical. Obviously, now even though I've given the details for mechanical rights, I would still need to register the song with Capasso because they are the ones that handle mechanical rights. So it's not to say that I'm putting down the mechanical rights percentages that I'll automatically be earning my mechanical royalties. I still have to register the song with Capasso because they are the ones that actually handle and distribute mechanical rights. So I'll confirm Munib. And now we have all three of the um, composers, authors uh, that have been involved in the song and that has been locked in and ready to go. Now we can go to the next field or the next option. Now, this is also optional uh, where they ask you to add the sound file. It is optional. They give you the format in which they want it. They want an MP3. They give you the minimal bit rate, et cetera, et cetera. And you can do that. Um, I've, I've done it once, but it's not really necessary because as I mentioned in previous videos, radio stations or Samro, uh, in fact, they don't go according to sound recordings. They don't have a function like um, that has technology similar to Shazam or similar to Radio Monitor where they are um, where they have software that monitors radio stations to see what has been played. They still rely on radio stations to submit 
um, all their playlists so that they can see what has been played and then allocate it. That's why it's a lengthy process. So I'm not going to add a sound file because it's not really necessary. They work according to the titles and the details with regards to the authors and composers or publishers, whichever ones you have included. All right, so we go to the next step, page six. You have to then confirm that this is all correct. And then what you're going to do is if you want to add another title after this, you will click on this option, add another title, or you can click on this option because I'm not going to register another song that says I am done with adding titles. Then you save and send. All right, so click save and send and it is through. So along with all my other registrations that have been there, um, it is now been categorized. So, uh, on this date, the 13th of the 1st, 2019, at the moment it's showing you registration numbers and, and all of that kind of thing. But if you click on view titles, uh, it will show you what you've just uh, registered, which is love is gone. It's that simple. Uh, I think I should do another video on just the portal login. Uh, so that you can see all the other features that's available with regards to the Samro portal login. Uh, but it's it's that simple. And if there's anything that I might have missed, then you're more than welcome to ask questions in, uh, in the comment section below. As you can see from all my other videos uh, that I love to uh, answer as many questions as possible. Alternatively, you can email me studio at ebimusic.co.za. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give me a like, uh, and also click that bell notification when you subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future videos, and I'll catch you on the next Studio Talk vlog. Ooh, bet, 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 the English